Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wired Gaming. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all good and are having a great day. Now, as some of you may have noticed, I have been away for a little bit, little while, just randomly. I haven't said anything. It's because I've had a, a family emergency that I've been dealing with. So there's been no content. And there will be content hopefully back to normal at the weekend. But I'm currently at home. And just as I've seen this update, which is the Resistance Weapons Pack. So I thought I'd cover this quick, let people know that I am away. Um, content might be a little bit muddled over the next few weeks. But I am going to try my best now I'm back at home to get as much out as possible and keep to the usual schedule. So that all being said, thank you for all the support whilst I've been away. Thank you for everything. And um, yep, sorry I, there was no notice. I just haven't had time. It's been the last thing on my mind at the moment. But we should be getting back to a sort of normal routine going forward. Now, if you are following the Generation Zero socials, you will know that something very cool has dropped. It's not out yet, but it will be out pretty damn soon. And that is on the 12th of May. So that is a week away. So that's next Thursday. And what we're going to be getting is this bad boy. As you can see here. The Resistance Weapon Pack. The Resistance is bringing a new set of tools to the game. Say hello to the Heavy Bow, the Pitchfork and the Flamethrower. With these makeshift weapons, the fight against the machines will be even deadlier for them. Available on May the 12th. So this is coming soon. I'm very excited for this. It looks pretty damn cool. Especially this bow. Just look at that bow, man. How cool is that? I like it. And that makes your flamethrower with what looks to be a motorcycle handlebar on there. And then obviously you've got the two gas tanks there. Now this is made up of... I don't know what that is. Whether it's some part of a machine... I believe it's a part of a machine, but then you've got the springs there, and then it's made with what looks like they're a pocket knife, and then some spanners, or wrenches, depending on where you're from, will, will be what you call them, but it looks pretty damn good. I'm very excited to see this. They haven't put the pitchfork in there, but I know for a fact the pitchfork is going to be an absolute beast. Melee weapons in Generation Zero, amazing. Now... There's been quite a few interesting comments, too. Now, from Generation Zero replying to them, and somebody said, is it going to be a uh, just sort of standard bow with a multitude of arrows that we can play with? And they've just said, you're going to have to wait and see, but you will be pleased. So I think we will be seeing multiple arrow types. I reckon we're going to see the one, two, three, four, five crown variants that we normally see. And if we're going by previous DLCs, uh, weapon packs, I reckon it's going to be around between three and five pounds GBP. Uh, the last one for the base assault was three pounds 80, but the last weapon pack they did was, I'm pretty sure it was three pounds 20 or something like that. So I reckon it won't be more than five pounds, I don't think. I'm very excited to test this out. It's going to be quite cool. And I'm very happy to see that we will be getting some new weapons. And they're not just focusing primarily on base updates. Because as cool as the base updates are, I think what they've done for now is perfect. Other than expanding on that throughout different regions, I don't think there's much further to go on that just yet. Personally, anyway. Some, other, some people may disagree, but we'll see, we'll see. And also, at the moment, they are still working on a base assault hotfix for consoles. Obviously, it's just come out. I still stand my, by my previous points, but I'm not going to go into that again. And it would be nice for them to get those updates out and fixed before they started pushing paid content. But it is what it is. And the update, hopefully, will come out before this resistance weapon pack does for consoles. Because... I. I've seen a few people saying they're not going to pay for it until they can actually do the base assaults. Which, you know, fair enough. Fair enough, right? I get that. And alongside this, though, we've been wanting flamethrowers for a hell of a long time. I would say it's got to be at least two years. Uh, like, at, at a minimum two years. People have asked for bow and arrows for a long time. Now, how well they're going how effective they're going to be against machines is yet to be seen. But obviously, different arrow types could definitely play with that. You could have explosive arrow types. You could have acid arrow types. You could have all sorts of stuff that will really help us. I'd like to see some sort of trap arrow type. 
something that we can like fire from point A to point B, and then that sets up some sort of trip mine, like it does with the um, with the AG4 and the electronic ammo. Uh, that oh, what's it? Is it it's not electronic shock ammo? That's the words I'm looking for. Uh, with the shock ammo, obviously you can shoot one point and then shoot another point. It creates a sort of arc, and machines that come through the arc will get damaged. I'd love to see something like that, but with explosives. Whether they'll do that or not, don't know. Obviously, they did say they like to stick with the time zone, but I think some of the experimental weapons that they've done could definitely throw out the time zone thing, and we could uh, we could do some awesome stuff. I mean, next step's got to be uh, got to be bikes, right? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. They're not going to do bikes. As much as I would love to see vehicles in this game, I don't think we'll see any motorized vehicles. But that is my two cents on the Generation Zero Resistance Weapon Pack update that will be coming soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. We should hopefully be back with some more GZ content on Saturday. But if not, we will definitely be back with some on Wednesday. For today, though, I've been wired. You've been awesome. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, consider joining the members. Thanks for watching. and we'll see